Okay, Ollie O'Neill here, and this is my backdraft engine. Basically, how it works is you have two combustion chambers, one on the left here and one on the right, and they both pulse, but they pulse at different times from each other. They pulse at basically 180 degrees out of phase with each other. So when that one's pulsing, that one's basically being refueled. Now, what we have here in the middle is a fuel tank, and that's just sending fuel into this pipe here. And at the front, we have an air scoop, and that basically sends air into this pipe here. Now, when that pulses, that sends the fuel up through that pipe, basically in gas form. It could be in liquid form, but it wouldn't work as well. And at this side, the air gets pushed up through here. Now, when it goes into the two pipes, it travels along, and these act as a venturi or a carburetor, sucking in air and pushing it through to the other side. And same with this, this acts as a carburetor for the fuel and it pushes it through and to the other side. Then when they mix on the other side, they would detonate and go off. So they have to be pulsed sort of 180 degrees from each other. And when the two pulse, they um, send fuel back and forth through the pipes and basically continue the engine cycle. I'll show you another view in 3D view, try to get a better look at what's going on. Okay, here it is in 3D view. I'm just gonna go through the parts with you. Um, on the left and right here in green are the combustion chambers. They basically consist of a big fat pipe with a nozzle stuck on either end. Here's the fuel intake pipe, which leads to the fuel tank here. And that little white connecting pipe connects the two. Up here you have the air intake pipe. And at the very top you have an air intake scoop. Now that could be connected to liquid oxygen if you wanted to turn it into a rocket. Overall, it's a very simple design. You can actually make um, make it the opposite way around with the two pipes. You have the pipes facing in the opposite direction, coming in here on the left and right, and it would be sort of like a Chinese pulse jet then. Overall, it's quite simple to make, and it's a forward air intake pulse jet with no valves, so it's completely valve-free, and it uh, has a forward air intake, so it's... Um, very handy for planes which need a forward air intake because if you have a backward air intake which most valveless pulse jets are in fact nearly all other valveless pulse jets are backwards air intake you can't actually fly at high speeds because you create a sort of low pressure area in the backward section of the plane um, so that's basically the engine it's dirt simple I'll, uh, I'll cut in half and show you real quick how it works Okay, as you can see, I've cut open the engine to give you a look inside, give you a quick showing of that there's actually nothing going on inside. It's basically, uh, it's just a set of bare tubing. Um, if you were to look at this top bit, where the carburetor is, or the carburetors, it's kind of like a two-way carburetor. Now, carburetor usually sucks in fuel one way, and then um, the two gases will get mixed here and travel out, but in this it's designed so it'll act in both directions. So if you're to blow air in that direction, it'll suck up fuel, or if you're to blow air in that direction, it'll suck up fuel. The same goes for the air intake. Um, overall, it's dirt simple inside it. There's no moving parts, as I said earlier, and the actual combustion chambers are just basically big fat tubes with um, tapers on the end for nozzles, and that's it. That's the internals. It's basically a fancy set of tubes.